Amen. And while we're praying, we have a few, we have a victory report, a victory report, and this is a report by uh, Sister Deborah Ritz. She said that the Lord healed her. She said, praise the Lord. God is good. Praise the Lord. God is good. I am so thankful. I'm thankful to God to be back with, with, uh, back with my church and with my church family. He said he has answered all of the prayers that was prayers that were sent up for me. God answered all the prayers. Amen. Amen. So let's all be thankful that the Lord has Sister Richfield, Sister Richfield have her back in the house of God. Amen. Amen. And also we have a few prayer requests. We have a prayer request submitted by Sister uh, Bates, amen. She is praying for Amy for healing. She is uh, in the process of recovering from COVID-19. Amen. Let us all remember all those that have been uh, affected by the uh, pandemic and pray that God, God will heal them. Amen. 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 We also have prayer requests submitted by Sister uh, Starworth that she is praying for her uh, grandkids, praying for her son Tracy Jr., and praying for her daughter, Virginia, and for her other son, Gina. Amen. 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 Also, we are praying for uh, Sister Vicki Harris's husband, John Harris. We're praying for his salvation. Amen. Amen. So let's remember John Harris while we're praying. Amen. We also are praying for the Lawanda Lowry family. Amen. So let's remember her, the, the, uh, the Lawanda Lowry family. Amen. 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 Are there any other unspoken? Now, I don't know about you, but we know at Newburgh Tabernacle that God is a prayer answering God. Yeah. Amen. And at Newburgh Tabernacle is a praying church. Sister Morrison. I just want to my friend James, my friend Amelia, my daughter Ellis. Amen. Let's pray for that. Remember uh, James uh, Morrison while he is in active service in, uh, in, in, uh, in service to this nation. Amen. And God will keep his angels encamped around about him. Amen. Sister Regina Gilkey. Pray for the Gilkey family. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hands. God is acknowledged. Amen. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we we'll thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace, Lord Jesus. To receive mercy and help, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength, with a mind and a desire to press our way out to the house of God. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for all your wonderful blessings that you have restored upon our lives. But lying up on the cross for our sins one day, Lord, Lord, for the water back to me, your precious name, and the infinite of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for, for blessing us, Lord Jesus, with a mind and a desire, Lord, for keep your angels encamped around about us, Lord, as we travel over the dangerous highways and byways, as we made our way out to this house of God this morning. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to prepare our hearts right now to receive your word, Lord. Uh, Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to break up the stony heart, Lord, and give us a heart of flesh, Lord. Give us ears to hear that we may be sensitive to your spirit right now this Sunday morning. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to open all these prayer requests that were submitted before you. Lord, touch and move with every single one of them prayer requests. Heal all those that need to be healed. You said in your word, by your stripes, we are healed. Comfort all those that need to be comforted. And Lord, I want to ask, Lord, I want to be careful to give your name, the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. amen.
time. And I'm so glad to be in this number one more time. Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the congregation of the Happy Meal. Amen, amen, amen. At this time, we will start preparing our hearts to praise the Lord with our giving. Yes. Amen. We're not going to stop praising him. We're just going to praise him with our giving. Yes. Amen. So while we begin to line up for our uh, building for March, I have a couple of quick announcements. Um, do not forget, do not forget, please, to uh, look on the schedule. Make sure that it, uh, that, it's your, that you are, uh, it's not your week to clean the church. Amen. And also, we have a very, very special birthday this Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. It is Minister Allen's birthday. Amen. 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 Minister Allen's birthday. I don't know about you, but that is my friend. Amen. I'm so glad. How many of y'all glad that the Allen's is with us? Amen. 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 That is truly, truly my friend. Amen. So happy birthday, Minister Allen. Amen. 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 That be all the announcements. Uh, yeah, next Sunday it will be our uh, no uh, yeah no okay that will be all the announcements. So if that be all the announcements, let's all bow our heads and pray. Lord, we want to thank the Lord for this opportunity to give them to the building fund. Lord, we want to ask you bless all those that give and bless all those that desire to give. And we give it to Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. And amen. amen. Do Lord, do Lord, do
says, when two or three are gathered together yes. in his name, yes. he's there in the midst of them. So, amen, would you lift your hand and just wave it to the Lord, thank you, God. Amen, that we're in the presence of the Holy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You, you don't want to take this for granted. Amen. Praise God. This is a good presence in the house of the Lord. Amen. Quickly, I just want to say, amen. It's so good to see Sister Ricks in the house. Amen. 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 If, if God can touch her body, amen, he can touch yours today. Don't you believe amen. that? Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. And it's good to see Brother Marvin. Amen. Amen. God is moving around here. How many know that? Amen. Amen. I need all of you. How many know that God is moving? Praise God. Amen. And if you wasn't here, amen, uh, Wednesday night, you, you missed a tremendous service Wednesday night. Praise God. And we have good services all the time. The Holy Ghost is visiting us and helping us and touching our lives. Amen. Thank God for Facebook. Yeah. Amen. For those that cannot attend. Amen. When you're sick. But boy, if you get to the house of God. Yeah. Amen. Come to yeah. the house of God yeah. and experience a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It, it's, you know, some folks be watching uh, uh, from Facebook and they PJs. <laughs> playing on their cell phone. That ain't going to help them. Yeah. Amen. Doing all kind of other stuff besides really hearing the word of the Lord. But when you come into the house of God, yes. something happens. Amen. When you gather together in the house of the Lord. Yes. Amen. And while Bishop, amen, that, that young man was preaching. Yes. yes. <laughs> he was preaching. Amen. And uh, I didn't come just to sing. Uh -huh. Come on. I, I, anybody remember the message? I didn't come just to sing. Amen. Amen. There's something in my heart that wants to give God glory. And whether he does what I want him to do or not, that doesn't matter. Amen. I just want to give glory unto the Lord. Anybody feel like that this morning? Praise God. He might be to me or he might not. Amen. But he is worthy of praise and his character deserves to be worshipped. Anybody?
come here to sing. But I came here to worship. Is there any worship in the house? Is there any worship in That's what I want. Is there any worship?
and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Where are the, were there not ten clean? But where are the of the not that are not found that return to give glory to God? Save the strength. And he said unto him, Arise and go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. Amen. I want to preach on this subject. The untouchable. The untouchable. Let's pray. Ela por Sheila Moriama Payata. God send the preacher today. Ikai Yato Shikila Makuriyama. Speak, Lord. Speak to your people today. Ikai Yato Bikila Makuriyama. In the name of Jesus. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? Amen. considered to be untouchable. It was considered to be a contagious disease. You see, sin is a typology of leprosy. You see, leprosy got in your nerve system. It was out to actually destroy you little by little. That's how shit is. All right, amen. You give it just a little inch and it's going to take a mile from you. The wages of sin is death. You see, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man, and he said, I will. And then he said, be healed. Anybody in the house need a touch today? I get And immediately the man was healed from his disease. I wonder about the man who felt Jesus 
compassional appearance has one request. And that one request was to be healed. But he, he reached out and he touched him. But he was considered to be untouchable. But yet Jesus decided that day to answer his special request. That one touch changed his life forever. This one touch be careful not to receive that touch. Because if you receive that touch, it could change your life forever. Anybody receive that touch? What do you lift up your hand worshiping right now? Go sell, show yourself to the 
priest. Because he had cleansed them. But one. But one. Look at his hands. Look at his toes. Look at his feet. And he turned around and he went back to the Lord. It was his high priest. He began to worship. And that, come on, somebody. Worship your high priest. He's in the house right now. Amen. I don't want to be in the nine. I want to be in the one that returned and worship him. Sometimes we could uh, miss some things in the scripture. It was something that uh, brought my attention. It, uh, it's so vital. You see, the touch did not heal the disease. You know, Matthew is carefully, was careful to mention that it was the pronouncement and not the touch of Christ. Come on, the pronouncement. Come on. That cured the condition. Yes. Lord, come on, preach it. Come on. He was dying. 
And he was concerned. The Bible said, love thy neighbor as thyself. He loved the servant. He didn't want the Lord to go to his house either. He had such respect and honor. But he said, if he does even speak, my servant can be you. At the same hour that he returned, he discovered at the same moment that Jesus pronounced the healing. He was healed. Amen. Yeah. Some of us need to just simply go to the Lord humbly yes, yes, yes. with your need and say, Lord, all you have to do is speak the word. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's speak the word. Let's speak the word. Oh, yes. The touch did not heal the disease. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man and said, I will be healed. And immediately the man was healed from his disease. You came to the house today with your needs. And Jesus is here to touch you. Amen. Amen. I'm just telling you the truth. He's here. He is here. To touch you. Yes, he is. He's here to forgive you of your sins. You see, the infection was bandaged, 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 bandaged by a word from Jesus. The loneliness, however, was treated by a touch. The loneliness. He spoke the word. Amen. Oh, I repented of my sin. And I got baptized. And I go and fill with the Holy Ghost. But he spoke something over my life. Something about when the Lord speaks up on your life. Oh, yeah. You better not take it for granted. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. It has amazed me over the years in ministry to see how the Lord has spoken over a person's life, touched them, and then they decide to walk out on God. Yeah. <coughs> what a way to go. How ignorant could you be? And how stupid could you be after the Lord has spoken over your life and touched you?
It's something about the Lord speak something over your life. Please don't take it for granted. Amen. We have a tendency sometimes to feel lonely. But if you go back to that first experience when he touched you, it's enough there to keep you from being lonely. Would you stand right now? It's enough there to keep you from being lonely. You see, Jesus is even here. He's touching the untouchable of our world. This young man on Wednesday night, come on up here, buddy. How old are you? Fourteen years old. And the Lord spoke over his life. Now, how long did you get in touch with It's something about, amen, when the Lord speaks over your life and then he comes, come on, he worship and lift your hands up and worship. Can somebody worship the Lord with this young man, hallelujah. This 14-year-old boy can worship the Lord and respond to the touch of God. You need to respond to the touch of God right now. decided to 
visit New Birth Tabernacle with this message. Come on. I'm here. I'm ready to speak over. I'm ready to touch you. This altar's open right now. I'm not going to bang you. The Lord already spoke. The preacher showed us. You know who you are. Let's be honest with yourself. You know where you are. Come on. 
praise the Lord one more time. The Lord still stands in the Holy Ghost. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke over Jen and touched him. He spoke over his life. He touched him. He got up on
ten lepers was cleansed. And only one returned to worship, worship the one who cleansed him. Only one.